Hello, my friends. Today is October 18. Our topic is dealing the defects of dreams. My friends, is there any time you fought with your spouse just because you dreamed something bad about your spouse? Or is there any time you cried on the whole day just because your past bitterness came in your dream? Or is there any time you doubted your spouse or your friend or your children and you were normal until you tried to forget the dream from your mind and memory? Our devotion comes to us from Daniel chapter 2 verse 1. In the second year of his reign, Nebuchadnezzar had dreams. His mind was troubled and he could not sleep. My friends, Bible gives three encouraging verses for you to deal with your bad dreams. Number one, Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 3. Dream is not your mistake. My friends, please be sure that you are not the reason for your nightmare or your bad dreams. You don't design your dreams. You don't create your dreams in the night. Therefore, do not be scared, do not speculate, do not accuse anyone, and do not be angry upon anyone. You are not weaker than your dreams. You are not fragile to uncontrol your dreams. No one is the reason for your dreams nor yourself. Your bad dreams are the reflections of your fear and stress. Be happy and your dreams will be happy. Be weak and your dreams will be weak and bad. Number two, Psalms 91 verse 5. Bad dream has no medicine. My friends, you do not have any medicine to heal the defects of your dream. No medicine for you to heal the scars of your bad dreams. You are the controller of the results of your bad dreams or nightmare. Learn to smile at the bad dreams. Learn to uh, the bad dreams very easy. Don't try to give unnecessary meaning for your meaningless dreams. Many times, bad dreams will make people to be scared or confused or upset or even emotional. The whole day, sometimes people don't focus on their work just because of the bad dreams. But you trust the name of Jesus and no dream can harm you. Don't give meaning and popularity to your bad dreams. Let your bad dreams be ignored and neglected. Number three, Proverbs 3.24, be positive in your bad dreams. My friends, before you go to sleep, think of something that makes you smile. There is always something, no matter how bad your day may have been, you will sleep better. You will feel better. Once you wake up, you will face your new day with the new grace of Jesus, new positive thoughts and with new promise. Take charge of your happiness. Make your bad dreams into good and make your bed into your comfort zone. Make your bed into a sweet dream center. Above all, before you go to sleep, just invite Jesus into your heart and he will cleanse and clear your heartache, your pain, your stress, your anxiety, and your bitterness. Your mind should be very clear before you go to bed or sleep. Here is the hope for you today from Psalms 127 verse 2. It is vain for you to rise up early or to sit up late to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he gives his beloved sleep. My friends, are you really troubled today because last night bad dreams? Are you crying or are you doubting you about yourself or about your spouse or about your family because of the incidents happened in your bad dream? Don't worry about it. You are not the reason for your bad dreams. No one is reason for your bad dreams. And there is no medicine to clean or cleanse the scars of your bad dreams. Be bold because your life is in your hand. 
Submit yourself to Jesus Christ. He will mold you and shape you for today. Let's pray. Heavenly God, thank you so much for this wonderful day. Thank you so much for your grace and mercy. There are many times and many people are suffering, disturbed because of the bad dreams. Please, dear Lord, let them not take the bad dreams in their hearts, in their personal life. Rather, let them overtake the bad dreams. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you.